Trick-or-treating through Andersonville's business district is back this year. And Andersonville was just named the second coolest neighborhood in the world by Time Out. Here to tell us what's happening this weekend is Dina Pavlovic, and thank you for coming in. Thank you for having us. How cool to yeah. be the second coolest neighborhood in the world. In the world. Isn't in that amazing? World. That is yeah, so no amazing. pressure there for the right. Halloween uh, events that you got this weekend. None whatsoever. We do. We have some great um, events going on. Um, and you can trick or treat through our neighborhood um, up and down Clark Street this weekend from 11 to 4 on Saturday. Just checking out all of our local businesses. So, so what did you bring us? We have some great treats and gifts. So we have Ooh. some treats from Deflowered and First Slice Pie. We have some gluten free cupcakes. And um, we have some pumpkin pie down here, which is is super delicious. Mm -hmm. You would never know that the cupcakes or cookies are gluten free. Oh, like, good. So good. So I'm good. smelling them from here is amazing. <laughs> And um, we also have some candy. We have some newer candy and some vintage candy we brought back from um, Enjoy and Urban General Store. We got some Zots. We have some fruit Zots. stripe gum. Some pop rocks. Yes. For oh, yes, you. we love the pop rocks. We got some pop um, yes, here. As well as like new sour aftershock stuff. So it's very big candy right now. Sour, the more sour, the better. Uh -huh. oh, of yeah. course. Um, and to complete any Halloween outfit, we do have some Halloween masks still available if you need that while you're trick or treating. Yeah, you um, want to fit in. Yeah, and then Hocus Pocus, uh, you know, so. The movie. Yes, so we have a Hocus Pocus puzzle, which is so much fun. Um, based on the movie done by the found, um, so beautiful, color, colorful, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Sanderson and this is, for, this is on Saturday, not Sunday, and it's for kids and adults, correct? Correct, okay. kids and adults, so you can come and there's a map and you can go up and down Clark Street. Um, I think there's something like 40 businesses or so that awesome. we're all passing out candy outside, um, so you can be safe, you can be spaced out, you can have your kids, um, and it's a great time to sort of check out the stores because a lot of us are prepping for those um, holidays coming up, and mm -hmm. so you can scan and see what you need to come back for. Mm -hmm. I see you have some like more gift ideas towards the other end of the table. We do, so when you get into the middle here and the end, we have some fun stuff. So from Four Sided, we have a lot of holiday decor, including candles. Um, so Edgewater Candles is sold out of Four Sided. You guys have the pumpkin bourbon yes, up yeah, here. That Ooh, is, this is smells so amazing. So good. Right? So yeah. good. Another local candle maker. They're amazing. Um, you'll see them around the shops, as well as some cute pumpkins and candles. Mm -hmm. Um, we have some comics from Alley Cat. One of the best ways to get your kids reading sometimes when they're just sort of fighting it is yeah. to find a good comic. Um, and so they have some great comics for Halloween. We have DC versus vampires. So, you know, really on theme. Um, nice little treat for the weekend, alternative to candy maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and then from play, we have some cute gifts. We have the X-Files game, or X-Files book, excuse me. Um, as well as a lovely little latte. Um, stuffy latte, because that's all in too. And, you know, not all kids want candy or can have candy, right. so having something else for them. Super thoughtful, La you guys. Latte? Latte. latte. Mm -hmm. Like coffee latte? Yeah, it's a little cute plush, you know. Yeah. Is that, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. they're well, not going to give you this latte. No, no, I'm no. like, what's going on? Okay, yeah, I, gotcha. I mean, they're not my kids, so if you want to caffeinate them. Oh, man, you're like, they're bouncing off the walls. To, like, oh, to each their own. I mean, yeah. minus the candy with the caffeine. Who knows? <laughs> so you guys got this distinction. Did you have any idea it was coming? Ooh, um, you know, I don't know. I'm sure somebody somewhere in the ether did, but we did not. What do you um, think makes Andersonville so great? Yeah. I think it's our, like, our local businesses, we try to stay unique, we try to stay inclusive. Um, you know, we do have something from ever, for everybody, right? We have stuff for kids, we have stuff for people looking for curiosities and whatnot. Um, and so, you know, it sort of runs the gamut. You can find something for everybody there um, and you can, you know, have fun while doing it. There's lots of places to eat and drink as well, so. And the shopping is to die for. Yeah, there you I go. You got it. it all right there in yeah. that one little neighborhood. We really do try. And so it's a great little spot and it's, you know, up and down Clark Street and then you can go off on the side streets. It's all sort of in one spot. So you don't have to go far. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. So we want to remind everybody if they want to do the trick-or-treating in Andersonville on Saturday, not Saturday, Sunday. Not Sunday. From 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. All the information at andersonville.org. Thank you. Thank you.